Uh-huh. What were you, raised by wolves? If you're gonna answer the door, put some clothes on. Destiny? You look different. I know. I'm a fox. So, where's Matthew? Matthew? Your brother? Why don't you think he's here? He lives here. Who's the man got to kill to get some breakfast around here? not seeing what I'm seeing. Mm. Honey, you know, it's uh, extra for overnight. Wendy, such a card. We were out real late. Uh, yeah, we uh, took the girls out, show them a fun night on the town, and then we all just came back here. Didn't we, Matthew? We sure did. <laughs> we all had a little too much to drink, and uh, nobody was sober enough to drive. Mm. You should see Matthew put down the sparkling cider. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought everyone should just, you know, stay here overnight for safety's sake. Please, David. They're pros. Destiny, I'm shocked, shocked that you would think that I would have to pay for it. And I hope they charge you double. What the hell are you doing? Is this your girlfriend, sweetie? No. No, I'm his friend. His best friend. I know Danny stomped all over your heart and everything, but I can't believe you would do this. You spent the night with a hooker? Why is that so hard to believe? You're not like that. Honey, he is awesome. Thanks. No. Thank you, David. Anytime, Matthew. Anytime? I sure hope so. <laughs> I've got to get to my accounting class. I'll walk you out. <clears throat> How could you do this to him? Like give him the best night of his life? The girl he loves just dumped him. He's hurt. Not anymore, he's not. After one evening with Fawn, he can take on the world. Trust me. I know. So you've been with Bambi? Her name is Fawn. Whatever. And you just passed her on to your little brother? Nothing but the best for my little bro. She's the third most expensive escort in Landview. Thanks, Mom. For everything. Before you know it, you're gonna be the one breaking hearts. <laughs> you proud of yourself? Absolutely. I see. So, the amazing guy that I knew, the smart, thoughtful, considerate guy that I called my friend has turned himself into a frat boy cliche overnight. Why are you so upset? Because I care about you. I don't want you messing up your life over Danielle Rayburn. She's not worth it. Do I look messed up? Kind of, yeah. You look different. Good. Because maybe I'm sick and tired of being the nice guy that girls dump. Okay. A, you've only been dumped once. And B, you're not that nice. Not anymore. Still me? I'm sorry. The Matthew Buchanan I know would not let his brother pay a hooker to have sex with him. You're right. He wouldn't. Look, just hear me out. I know you're hurt. But trust me, you'll get over it. I did. You can't let her change who you are. You know, Fawn is a person just like me and you. Pretty nice one at that. She gets paid to be nice. No, she gets paid to have sex. And you'd know that. I didn't sleep with her. Just don't tell David, OK? He wants to think that he made everything better for me. So you, you didn't? Sleep with her? We slept together in, in the same bed, but we just kissed, that's it. It didn't look like that. I paid her to cover for me. <sighs> so you both paid her? If you tell anybody. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me, Romeo. Just tell me, why didn't you? I mean, if she was willing <laughs> and paid for. She's not Danny.
Like I said, it's her loss. Come on, let's go get some seats. No, I'm, I'm out of here. Uh, I saved some seats down front. We're not staying. No, you guys can stay. I'm, I'm fine. Not a chance. I know what happens when I leave you alone. We got your back, brother. Okay, all right. Hold on one second. Serious? I chat. Oh! <laughs> oh, you met my brothers, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my hat keeps going to fall off. Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, I actually can't stay. Uh, something came up. Oh, yeah, I saw Danny and Nate inside. I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thanks. Look, I understand if you want to leave. You sure? Yeah, I've been there.